Breaking news, Robert Durst convicted of murdering his best friend in a case that dates back 20 years. That guilty verdict returned in the last hour. Ed Lasko's following this. He joins us live. Ed. And that guilty verdict coming down just moments ago, ending a trial that ran almost 60 days, three days of deliberation by the jury. They came back and find the longtime real estate heir, Robert Durst, guilty, guilty murder, first degree with extenuating circumstances. Let's listen to how that verdict was read in open court. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Robert Durst, guilty of the crime of first degree murder of Susan Berman. And there it is, the uh, verdict, guilty, murder one, with the extenuating circumstances, the murder of Susan Berman 20 years ago in her Benedict Canyon home. As this trial played out, the special circumstances involved, and the jury agreed, lying in wait of Mr. Durst, also, they say, found guilty of killing Berman to, for her silence, worried that she, as his longtime friend and uh, companion, would start talking to investigators, telling them what she knew about the disappearance of Durst's first wife back in the 1980s. Speaking of uh, Durst's first wife, her family, the McCormicks have put out this statement, read it if you can, and it will give an idea of how they're feeling about all of this. They have, for the longest time, for decades since the disappearance of Durst's first wife back in uh, 1983, have sought justice, wanting to know exactly what happened because her body was never found. So the McCormick family feeling this is a long way in terms of justice being served to try to get to the bottom of exactly what happened. And now some more video. This is uh, Robert Durst in court. I say at times this trial was bizarre because it goes with the, the defendant Durst himself taking the stand for two weeks testifying and then when the verdict comes down just a few minutes ago he's not even in court because of a COVID situation he's in isolation and his uh, attorney had argued that well maybe we should wait and not read the verdict until Durst could be there to hear exactly what the jury has to say about his faith but the Superior Court judge said no no more delays let's get this over with and that's exactly what happened so the verdict comes down guilty first degree it carries along with it uh, life in life in prison no chance of parole sentencing of course at a later date but Robert Durst after this long long trial guilty first degree murder for now we're live here in Inglewood back to both of you